Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and today we're going to make chocolate roses which have a strawberry in the middle. To start with you'll need to make some modelling chocolate and I'll link you to that recipe video on my channel at the end of this one and I'll also put a link to that below. Roll out five balls of your modelling chocolate. Some can be slightly larger than others, that's fine. And just place them on some non-stick baking paper. Then also roll a snake of your modelling chocolate as well and place that there. Space them out on your baking paper and then place a second piece over the top and then gently squash each one and then roll them flat using a rolling pin. Then do the same thing with your snake, squashing that long and flat. Wash and hull your strawberries. Then take a cake pop stick and dip it into some of the tempered real white chocolate or you could use melted compound chocolate, either one, and push that into the cut part of the strawberry and then dip the whole strawberry into the chocolate, turning it to make sure it's completely encased in the chocolate. You want to make sure that you use strawberries here that are symmetrical and cone shaped so they're kind of pointy at the top, not the huge strange shaped ones. Let that set, then take your snake of modelling chocolate and roll it up at one end going to about halfway and this is making the centre of the flower. Using your knife cut off half of the spiral so the underneath half of it, making sure you don't cut off the long end of the snake because we still need that. Now place that spiral on top of the strawberry and then wrap around the rest of the snake so that it's tight on the strawberry bit but loose at the top so it looks like petals. Then take your first chocolate petal and place it on the side of the strawberry. Take your next petal and overlap the first one and repeat that again with the next one making sure when you look down from the top into the rose that you can't see any of the white chocolate. Then gently use your fingers to feather out the top of the petals so that it looks like they're opening up. Then take another petal and stretch it around to cover the white chocolate at the base and up to be the right height at the top. Then bend that petal out at the top a little so it looks like the rose is opening up. If you have a petal that's not quite round like this one, just find the best edge and use that for the top of the petal and stretch the base down like we did before to make it reach the bottom of the bud. You can leave it just like that with the five petals or you can continue to add more if you want a fuller flower. Continue to make more roses and you can do some in white modelling chocolate or coloured modelling chocolate if you prefer. I just stuck to the milk chocolate and the white chocolate for this bunch. In the bunch I also wanted some of the strawberries to be visible because I wanted some of that bright red colour. Put some chocolate on a cake pop stick and push it into the end of your strawberry and then dip the tip of the strawberry into the chocolate as well and then put it into a cup to set. This is a good way to use up any of the strawberries that were not pointy on top and so that you can still use them in your bunch. Arrange your strawberries and roses on some cellophane with some golden tissue paper or whatever colour you like and wrap them up and then secure them firmly with some ribbon. And then they're ready for you to give away. What a yummy gift. Subscribe to How to Cook That for more crazy sweet creations. This link will take you through to the channel where you can watch how to make the modelling chocolate. This is last week's iPad cake recipe. And this one will take you to the howtocookthat.net website. And I'll put all those links below as well. Put your requests in the comments. Have an awesome week. And I'll see you on Friday.